It's funny how clothes change the way people think you're going to be. For example, when I first left the Spice Girls and I was very, you know, the way I dressed was very outlandish, people were expecting to meet a six foot tall drag queen. You know, like RuPaul. That's what they thought that, that who was going to come. And then suddenly they'd meet this like little old lady type, mm, hello. <laughs> they were like, what? I've always loved the power of clothes. Real style never goes out of fashion. It's timeless. I love Audrey Hepburn. I think she's amazing. She's my go-to. There's something about her. It just looks effortless. And so I thought, oh, let's try and make an Audrey Hepburn dress. I've actually seen clothes as almost your Batman suit. You put that on and you suddenly feel a little bit more brave. I want to look like Audrey. I can't promise that it will, it will come out good, but we're going to give this a go. But this is a 1960s pattern. There's something quite therapeutic about doing it. This is probably the most important bit. Sleeve here, here. Okay, and this is the back. This is the back. And a zip down the back, is Zip it? down here. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever cut something and gone, oops? Yeah. I had that oops <laughs> moment when I was cutting Bluebell's hair. I, and I sneezed and she had beautiful long hair and I went, Ugh. and it just went up like that. I was like, oh my God. I've always made my own clothes. The first time we were on television, I wore an outfit that I had made myself. I wore this tie-dye kind of flares vest outfit. It's very stretchy and giving. But I sew, my sewing is a little bit wobbly. And I remember as I'm performing, it's slightly coming apart the sides. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I've either taken an old outfit from the past and, you know, and rejigged it. I did that on the Spice Girl wannabe. That is a trapeze outfit on backwards. I don't want to screw this up. That is the side of the dress. It's coming together. When I was around 17, I think it was 18, I had a Saturday job and it was in a high street chain. And, um, and I loved it. I loved the way, you know, it felt elegant, folding the jumpers. And, and then, I don't know, 20 years later, was it 20 years? Yeah, I was working, designing for them. Woke up this morning. Because I've been all shapes and sizes, I understand a woman's body. I've sometimes been very thin, I've been curvy. You know, I like to make clothes that you can eat in, but then also feel like a million dollars and a queen. And so, we had a dream. Ta -da! But I think it's quite timeless for a younger girl to wear it. I think she could rock it in her own way. And then a more mature woman, you can go out to dinner in it and eat cake. That's important. It's quite satisfying when you've got pieces in your wardrobe that you can still wear. It's lasted the test of time. Real style lasts. I love playing with fashion because you can change how you feel, you can express yourself, you can suddenly turn into who you feel like being. And I think we're every woman. I'm silver cold, I'm shy of gold, I'm every light and shade. My nice dress. Ready to go, ready to impress. It feels like it was mine already. That's when you know it's the right fit.